Uh, your innovation lab, Max HVF, just announced a new company and a product today called Asymmetrica, an ASIM, which is the, the plug-in that allows it to be possible. When I saw this, I was like, this is exactly what I need. But it basically makes it easier to read. Uh, yeah, it improves reading comprehension through what's called microtypography. It instantly and very indistinguishably almost introduces special spacing between words and letters on any web page, creates these word bundles. We actually that, have uh, the way it looks on here, the original, and yeah. then what it looks like with a sim. So explain to me what's going on. So there's about 40 years of academic research that shows that humans comprehend text when clauses are separated slightly better visually uh -huh. than when they're just typeset kind of a standard way. And the comprehension can go up up to 40%. So you wow. could be a 40% better reader, which I certainly could use. Yes, me as too. A, so, and it works with any link that you click on. Exactly. So it's a browser plugin created by two guys that started the company in HVF. As I was getting busier and busier with a firm, I didn't forget about <laughs> trying crazy projects. Then uh, this is one of these things. Uh, one of these guys, Ken Brownfield worked with me on almost every project I've ever started, so I'm super excited right. to see him actually build a company inside the lab. But uh, the product is amazing. It's something that you add to your browser, works with every major browser, it's a plugin, and it automatically, completely transparently, changes the layout of every text page that you encounter on the web and makes Very it ever cool. so slightly more readable. Very cool. Uh, you also have some news out of a firm today. You're getting into student loans, specifically loans for people who want to go to like coding or design boot right. camp. Why student loans and why take on this big issue of student debt? So it's actually su super, uh, super straightforward. So we built this company, are building this company on this premise that the world needs honest financing, financial products, financial services. Banks have lost their credibility with the new generation. The millennials do not trust, do not like big banks, and they are looking for something better. The number one, to me, best use of credit for a person is to borrow money, to invest in themselves, make themselves a more employable, more hireable, higher earning, able person. And so it just seemed inappropriate for us not to be lending to students. Mm -hmm. Now, the best, for my money, or at least in my opinion, kind of education today is if you can go and get yourself a 10-week program that takes you from a geography major who is probably not very hireable in today's mm -hmm. economy to a JavaScript developer or a product manager or a graphic designer, which typically quadruples your earning capacity, that is a great way to participate in the economy. And the one thing that's stopping more people from taking these classes is lack of financial aid, and that's where we come in. And quickly, how do you assess the risk that a firm is taking on here? As Because as we know, student debt is a problem. Defaults are a problem. Uh, it certainly is. Uh, that is our specialty. We are a bunch of young and old, and that includes a bunch of ex-PayPal people that have really cut our teeth on assessing risk. We look at all the data that we use for our point of sale product at the merchant checkouts and some other kinds of data. Uh, we're still testing lots of new models, including potentially looking at people's code quality to see if, how well it correlates to repayment, but uh, we're confident we can take on the risk.